Hello friends. Today I attempted Lil Simsy's shell challenge. <laughs> this one took me so long and I cut out so much of the speed build. I took out the entire floor plan, all of the roofing, because both of those things took me absolutely forever. I also took out a lot of stuff of me digging through debug. I took out me moving this lot like five times because I moved it to a bunch of different places to figure out which place I liked the most. But I struggled. This took me ages. It took me, I think I had about, I, I don't want to, I'm not 100% sure, but probably nearly six hours of footage. <laughs> so somehow this is uh, become like an 18 minute video still so that's impressive but I cut out a lot so if you're like wow this room didn't exist before and now it's almost fully furnished what happened that's why I also forgot to record a part which I didn't realize for a while <laughs> um, but I did not want to re-record it because I was like this video is already long enough you don't need to watch me do a bedroom because I changed it up again later anyway like most of the things I forgot to record weren't very important, so it's fine. But this took me so, so long. But I think it looks cute at the end. But, you know, we can't expect Kayla to make a shell challenge and have it not be horrible. So the roofing on this looks really bad. And I tried to do a bunch of different things with this house. Uh, at one point, I even decided that I wanted to put the shell in again. Like, I put the house on a 50 by 50 lot and I put the shell again in the back and then like underground. Like the first floor was underground and then the second floor was like the first floor instead. But I got rid of that idea very quickly when I realized that if you only have the top floor as the house, the roof looks horrible and there's like no good angles of it at all. because. The roof on this looks weird, but because there's a roof on the bottom part of the house as well, it doesn't look as bad because it just kind of like blends in together and it just kind of looks like a house. But when there's only the top floor, it looks so bad. So I spent like 30 minutes doing that and then I was like, oh my god, I can't do this. This looks so horrible. So I got rid of it. <laughs> really nice. Love that for us. But um yeah, this took me absolutely forever. The floor plan was a disaster. The upstairs floor plan I redid about five times. So that's nice. If you were like, see it changing throughout, there's a lot of stuff that changes. That like weird diagonal part in the corner becomes something really weird. It's like a toddler room and then like a witch room. I'm very aware that it looks a bit creepy. Like the witch room's like a long hallway kind of shape. I just didn't know what to do with that room. I, it, I was, it was going to be a bedroom, but it was way too big to be a bedroom. And I did not know how to put the walls in a way to make it make sense for it to be smaller. Like, it was very upsetting. <laughs> but I think it looks really cute at the end. I think this house looks really nice. I really like how it did the outside of it. Like, I spent a lot of time on landscaping and just outside stuff on this house. Because I ended up putting on a way bigger lot. I don't know how big it was. But it's the lot, I would say it's probably 40 by 30, but might even be 40 by 50. I'm not 100% sure, but it's a lot in the realm of magic world that I ended up putting in. And I think it looks really cute. And the outside is so like decorated and I put a lot of plants. I did struggle a lot with the decision making when it came to the plants because all the plants are dead and brown and they all kind of look the same and kind of sad because it's autumn <laughs> but I thought it was nice I also the whole house on the outside was kind of inspired by the idea of like a mushroom it doesn't really look like a mushroom house but I like to think that it's a mushroom house I also put a lot of mushrooms outside as well so I think that's nice but I am now technically, officially, on like a fall break for a week. Um, well, I mean, since it's Wednesday, technically a week and a half. But I have my last class of this like period, semester, whatever you want to call it. I had that today. It wasn't very special. We like had presentations, but I wasn't the one presenting. So that was all fine. I just listened for an hour and then I went home. <laughs> my train was delayed though 
which I was very upset about because I really, really hate being late. Like, I don't like being the one to walk in late in a class and I was really nervous that I was going to be late enough that someone would have already started doing their presentation and like walking in while someone's doing a presentation is like the worst thing ever because you're going to be interrupting someone's presentation and they're like that's just not a good idea like no one wants to do that so that was great but I was fine (laughs) I got there I got to uni like a minute after the class started the door was still open everyone was still talking like there were a bunch of people missing still because a bunch of other people were on the same train as me so it was absolutely fine and it made a much bigger deal than it actually was i was like i don't know the train was like 15 minutes late which is a lot i have exactly enough time to get from my train to my class and that's like i have like no time to do anything else in between (laughs) So, for me, once my train's delayed, like it's over, I'm gonna either have to run really fast or the class is gonna have to start a little bit later. But luckily, uni classes don't like start perfectly on time usually, so it's fine. But in my last video, I talked about how I had to do a presentation and how I was really, really stressed for it and how I needed to rant about it. But now the presentation's over, and guess what? I'm amazing and I won. I put this in the comments of that video, so if you read the comments, you would have known already, but our, our group won, and they thought our concept and like the presentation were really good, so that's fun, except it's not that fun, because that, that also means that we have to do the presentation again for even more people, but I, I was very proud of myself. <laughs> as much as I don't want to present again, definitely not on a day that I would have usually been off school, I am very proud of myself because I was really scared I was gonna like ruin the concept because the whole part, the whole idea of the presentation was like to explain your concept and all the stuff you've been working on and because we're in a group of four and only two people were presenting, me being one of them, I was really really nervous that I was gonna mess it up and that I was gonna like let the people down that were presenting, that they were gonna be upset that I presented instead of them, which I didn't choose, I didn't have the option. If I had an option, I would not have been the one presenting for that, but I was really really scared of letting the group down and then we did the best out of everyone and I was very proud of myself. That was like a bit of a confidence boost so that was good for me (laughs) love that for me had a good day yesterday but now that i am off school for like a week and a half i'm not like done and i'm i don't have like a bunch of free time to do whatever i want i have so much work to do because i'm behind in like every single class possible which is really bad on my part because it's 100 percent my fault but I'm gonna have to do so much work over the next week and a half and I'm so upset about it because I could have basically been done by now. Like I would have had to do some adjustments on like the presentations we've had. So I'm a bit disappointed because I I like have one class where I have basically not done anything yet. And we've had eight weeks of this class. But to be fair, we didn't have like any classes after week one for this subject. It was just kind of like, we give you one lesson to explain it and then after that you just kind of figure it out yourself good luck which i guess fair enough you know it's uni we should be able to figure stuff out by now but um i don't have the motivation to you know keep myself doing stuff all the time definitely if not any like there were only online classes afterwards and none of them were mandatory like i don't know And all the classes weren't even like do stuff. All the classes that we did go to were like them explaining random things about communication, which is why I study. So I don't know, not very helpful. (laughs) So I guess we'll see what happens with that. You'll probably hear me complaining a lot more about uni um, in the next few videos. And hopefully uh, the video that you see in like a week's time Um, is me talking about how I finished it all or I'm about to finish it all and hopefully it's not me talking about how much I have left to do because that would not be good (laughs) but we'll see (laughs) let's find out together (laughs) another thing that I want to talk about again I talked about this last week but and it's it's coming very close now so I want to talk about it again I am doing a charity event next week and it's starting this Sunday 
So if you want to participate in some charity fundraising fun stuff, then you can come hang out on my streams. Um, my Twitch username is the same as it is on YouTube. I'll have it all linked down below. I'll link the charity campaign down below as well if you just want to donate and you don't want to hang out at any of the streams. That's fine as well. I mean, I'd love if you hang out with me on stream. I think it would be great. Um, you don't even have to donate. Just like sharing and like hanging out is enough. But I'm we're going to be fundraising for Able Gamers with like a massive group of people. There's like 150 people or something. I don't know. There's so many people in the Discord and everyone's so nice and everyone's like so supportive towards each other. It's like the most amazing group of people I've ever talked to <laughs> and they're all so friendly and like it's amazing. So I'm so excited for this. I'm a little bit nervous because so many of these people I really look up to because they're all really cool content creators. So that is also a thing that makes me more excited that I can like do something with so many amazing people. Um, I'm really excited to be involved in an event like this, but we're going to be raising money for able gamers to like get more accessibility because um, that's really important. And like if you care about The Sims, then, you know, you probably know how much uh, gaming can like impact your life. If you're watching gaming videos online, you probably play a lot of games for fun. And I don't think you realize, like, because it might sound stupid to you at first being like, yeah, games will change your life. But like, if you spend a lot of time gaming, that's probably a thing that makes you very happy. If you spend a lot of time watching content and like interacting with content on the internet, you've probably made some like friends this way or found like a really cool new hobby. Um, maybe you also make videos. Like, imagine not being able to do any of that just because it's not accessible for you. I don't know. I've been doing all this, like, gaming stuff mostly sims um some stardew valley like that i've been doing that since like january i started streaming in december but i stream like twice so that doesn't count but i've been streaming at least once a week since january um usually four times a week <laughs> but recently it's only been once a week um and i recently started making these youtube videos like it's been such a big part of my life um, and it's so important to make that more accessible for more people. So that's what Able Gamers does. And I think that's really, really cool. So if you have any money left over, no matter, it doesn't matter how much it is, then I would really encourage you to donate some of it. If you don't have any money left over and you don't want, or you don't want to donate, that's absolutely fine. <laughs> so don't worry. Um, I, I understand that not everyone has the money to like donate to charity i'm really excited about this and i feel really passionate about it because i definitely like i don't know the internet has given me so much and so many cool i've met so many cool people over the past year and i don't know i'm just really excited <laughs> to be working on something so cool and i know that charity events can do such incredible incredible things for people um so, I don't know, I always just get really excited to be able to participate in something like this. Because doing good for other people is always a nice thing. <laughs> so, I'm very happy. I will, hold on, let me get up my incentives. Because I made a whole list of things that I can do during the charity streams. Um, for example, for every single donation, I'll be drawing a frog. Because uh, I have frog emotes on Twitch. If you don't want to hang out on my stream, I would understand. There's so many other people to choose from and they all have so many cool incentives. Like we've all been talking about this for like weeks now. And I've read all these cool people, like all these milestones people have thought of and they're all really, really cool. So there's definitely someone in the group of like 150 people that you'd be interested in watching. Um, so I don't know, stay on like, stay on Twitch, hang out with us. <laughs> We'd really, really appreciate that. The whole event was set up by Little Simsy, so that's why this is a good moment for me to talk about it because, you know, it's her shell challenge. But she's so incredible and I, I'm so happy that she set this up. I, there's so many cool people in that Discord and I feel like I'm becoming friends with multiple of them and it's so, like, amazing. And everyone's so kind and Kayla's been super helpful towards everyone in the Discord as well, which has been really nice. Um, cause she obviously knows a lot of stuff about Twitch and I don't know, it's just a really, really cool experience for me. 
um, and I think everyone else can agree on that as well. So I'm really, really excited and I would love it if you came and hang out with us. <laughs> because there's a lot of cool streamers and a lot of people that you probably know as well participating so it's also not only sim streamers as well um there's people streaming like every game possible probably i i'm not like up to date with every single person there obviously because there's like 150 people like i said but there's people streaming like Dead by Daylight there's people streaming sims Stardew Valley like Animal Crossing but like so many different games are being discussed all the time there's games i haven't even heard of <laughs> that people are playing so i don't know i'm excited to watch everyone i'm excited to participate i haven't I've, i haven't streamed much lately so i'm just excited to get back into that as well um so i don't know a lot of exciting things coming up <laughs> I've done one charity event before. Um, I've raised money for the Trevor Project during all of Pride Month um, this year. And that was really, really fun for me because me as, you know, <laughs> as a gay person, um, I thought that would be a really good place for me to start because I'd have a lot of stories to tell on those streams. Um, and now it's something that has to do with gaming, which is obviously something I really like as well. So. I don't know charity streams are always really fun i really enjoyed doing them um and it's so cool at the end to see all this money that you raised and like all these people that came together to do that and you can do all these fun things with your, your community i don't know it's just it's a really fun time and if you stream as well i would definitely recommend doing a charity stream or like multiple charity streams for an event like you'll it will make you so happy i promise <laughs> But we're getting to kind of the end of the build now, I think. But I really like it. I, I really like how it turns out, even though the shape is very odd. Uh, <laughs> so I hope you like it as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. And thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you want to. Leave down below if you've, have, have you attempted this? I wanna know if you've attempted this because it's horrible. So thank you for watching. Goodbye.